Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. It's Monday. It's Ladder Leverage Day, episode 81. We got someone new, Mr. LaRocco. How you doing today, sir? I'm great. Thank you for inviting me today. Hello, everyone. Yeah, I was I was super uh, happy when you were cool to, to record, man. I'm like, this dude's having a killer season, man. I got to get him on here and we got to jam a couple games. I really appreciate that, that you decided to invite me here. And I'm really keen on showing showing you and viewers how how potent is the Witcher deck we've been we've been playing this season. Yeah, yeah, we uh, we jammed a couple games. Uh, I think it showcases it pretty well. The last game, the guy, yeah, yeah you'll see. But uh, <laughs> uh, the first game, <laughs> yeah. I I think it shows the just the the raw power of it, and you know, it, and people get scared real quick of it because they know that the amount of points you can put out there. Um, it's, it's pretty crazy. Um, of course, you know, Yurden's going to be your enemy. Um, but o other than that, man, like some of the other stuff that you go up against, uh, how does it go up against, uh, our friend, Mr. V? Oh, that's, that's actually a great question because it's probably the only deck in the game that's capable of actually 2 owing V decks. There you go. That's all you needed to say, man. <laughs> People are going to be like, import, import. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I hope for. And you want, no, nobody will be disappointed because this deck actually has a raw power inside it. Yeah. I, I would say the one thing with this deck you got to be really, really careful of if you're unfamiliar of it. I mean, you should do this with everything, but you have to read the cards. Because, I mean, like, if you play these Witchers on the wrong Adrenaline or... You know, whatever. Yeah, you got to be real careful with this deck because there's a couple bricks too. You got to be careful of with you know the Witcher trio that you want to play in the last round, correct? You want to save that as true. your home run. Absolutely true. Um, yeah. So the adrenaline basically is is kind of sketchy sometimes because you have a lot of adrenaline cards and you sometimes want to play them all very lightly into the round. You don't really want to play them early, so you have to choose. Just the, the lesser evil, right? What to play first, maybe expose for some damage from the opponent side. But overall, the deck is very, very consistent. And it actually packs, packs a lot of... Yeah, yeah, I'm a huge fan. Uh, I, I think it's I think it's cool to see this, like, just flat out all Witcher Northern Realms. It just, it, it, it feels yeah. really good. It just... I don't know. I just really like seeing all these witchers on the board, and they get you know. I mean, I like Nilfgaard, you know, the best, but it's really cool to just see this whole board filled up with these, and then these two farmers. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the farmers, the farmers synergize really, really well with the deck. Yeah. Uh, but it's we're, we're finally playing the Witcher card game. Right. After exactly. All the years. <laughs> yeah, it, it was pretty awkward. Like you would tell people well what's the best card in Gwent and you're like they're like so Geralt's not the best card and it's like well I mean he, he can <laughs> take some people out but they're like it, there's like some chick you know or something you're like oh okay but yeah exactly exactly but yeah um a couple good games here um not sure what's going on with the website uh but like always check it out it's always being updated with by Wasubi and uh you know all the other guys so uh TeamLeviathanGaming.com slash meta for this list if you want to import it. Uh, once again, LaRocco. Cheers, sir, on uh, hopefully having a good season next season like you did this season. And uh, I hope so. Thank you very much. Awesome, dude. Awesome. And uh, here's a couple games, guys. We'll see you at the end. Have fun. Remember to spend your reward points. Oh. Oh. A cash. Hidden cash. Okay, that's that's gonna be cute. So, okay, we're we're in blue again. Uh, we want to mulligan the witchers again. Uh, now we have our engines, great, so we can keep the target track. Yeah, it's actually uh, good because they want to use like poisons and stuff. Yeah. Do we uh, drop we the still Leo? John Natales. No, I think Leo is. The, by the end of the round. Did we drop one uh, Witcher? We... No. No, definitely not. I think it's one target practice. Uh, boiling Oil can be cute against his... Oh! Uh, I just clicked Okay. It. Sure. Uh, get rid of one... No, no, no. One target practice. So... Oof. 
Another siphon. Okay. So we're missing John Palace. Uh, the amphibious assault with heals. Yeah, that hurts. Yeah, and once again we didn't draw either of uh, the Semi Mentor and Kelder, which is pretty painful. Uh, we lead off with the. Just, just, just a classic line, right? With just, just the Griffin, which. Can't see it's it's still TA, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so it prevents it from a lock, it prevents it from a poison. It's so the good. Only thing we have to... It's so good. Yeah. The only thing we have to be aware of is playing a Philippa. But we're gonna keep a, a target practice for that. Just play around Peach. her. Okay. So he's spending yeah, his yeah, blind but... eyes. <sighs> yeah, that is true. So now we go Witcher. Exactly. Retrieve the bolt. No, I'm on it. Look, okay, they, they usually want to play like one, maybe towel rather than mm. just to just to get the like the comfortable uh, points per turn advantage, just right. to just to have some engine set up and then uh, then be able to either bleed on two or four or three match up. Gives them the the run wow. and dire mutated harm. <sighs> so it's obviously not ideal. Uh, no, no, we wait with the target practice. We we play the mutation first, or we can play. Yeah, we can also play the the location for another for another Gryffindor, whichever suits you best. Yeah, let's go for it. Because then we can take out the Hound, right? Yep. We're going double Witcher, right, Griffin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously. The bolt softens them up. Yeah, and we can ping the Hound. Yep. So he's got to get some coins going right now, and he doesn't really have them. He hasn't played any mm. Fist decks. Yeah, and the, the cute thing about Fist deck right now is doesn't really have a target, no. because if he targets the Griffin Witcher, it's obviously Bad. good for him if we transform it, because he shuts out, he shuts down our engine. But at the same time, he's playing a zero point fist. Wow. Okay, this guy's really going ham on it. He doesn't have uh, a point for it, though. Oh, oh, no. Yeah. So so we can go for a pretty cute line here. Uh, we can go for uh, selective mutation to elder. Selective mutation, and we're pulling Kelder. Yes. Mm. We're basically saying that we're we're not gonna get pushed out of this round. So we keep the siphon, oh. or we get rid of it? I think we get rid of one siphon. One ping on the hound. Yep. Where the other one? Mm, like maybe Sal. Just try to threaten. And flip one of the boys. Huh? Exactly. Okay, so now he's at six. Mm -hmm. He's still staying up though. Do we kill the spender? Obviously, yeah. Like we're we're not killing any engines, so we might as well defender. Uh now I think we can develop the other the other Griffin adept. Because next turn we if we if we play Kelder next turn. Um, uh front row please. I think I can see Kerseron from here. Because then we, we start getting multiple bodies with Kelder. Uh, because Kelder has a, a secondary condition, right? He also uh, spawns additional uh, additional tokens when you play a Warfare card. So basically, when you play a. Oof. Man, he might a run out of Yeah, he might run out of Blind Ice. Good. So we're going back row. Yeah, back row, back row Kelder. The more you know. Like and a just yep, ping just, the peach, huh? Yeah, ping the peach twice, and uh, then we can do the same thing next turn. Yeah. Much better at that. 
Okay, and now now he can choose if he wants to teleport this color, which would be pretty bad, but at the same time, it kind of okay. He does it. Yep. Well, that's irritating. Like he he's committed a lot to this map, but so did we. Yeah. So we go target practice. I think so. Yeah. We can boost like one of the shielded units or any whatever. Uh, this yeah. one, huh? Well, maybe in the back to play around around the main or front. Oh man! Honestly, I mean, it doesn't matter if we're gonna get the get the out this round. We sw we flip them both. Can... Yeah, yeah, we flip them both. There is enough to no, one thing on the P, then. Just yeah, don't think the low strength unit because might snipe them. So something, yeah. Let's see if we can snipe an engine here. No, we didn't. We can't. Which is not ideal, obviously, but that's not a terrible either. How much points does he get? He gets two. Uh, he's getting three points per turn plus color, so five points per turn, which is a lot, obviously. And he can kill the. Kiki, huh? Yeah. Oh. Uh, so we're not getting a just yet. Yeah, we we just tried to snipe this again. Now there are two free strength engines. Do we go? Br and I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we play Berengar. Just want to squeeze out the most. Uh, and we can transform the the second Griffin which are on the front. No reason not to. Let's get the additional shield in case he wants to play like uh, a teen boy or something. Oh, we got it. Very nice. Uh, okay, so here's another action. He's really running low on blind eyes. So, is, is this where we jump out? We can. Or we can play our Leo and try to win the round. Like, he committed a lot, and he's barely ahead of it. Uh, I guess we ping the, the doggo. Play Leon, ping the doggo. Yeah. No, I never yeah, and at this point, I think witcher, we should consider it. using the location. Use it now? Because the round is already... Yeah, because the round is already short, so we might not want to bleed if we win it. So yeah, we just a Silver still. Witcher. Just a Silver Witcher, I think. Yeah. Ah, we hit it. Yeah, and now he's still. Ah, it's it's not ideal, obviously, but now he still has to do over twenty points, right? And he already committed a few very big goals. He played no poisons yet. True. And I think this is gonna be our pass, regardless of if he plays. Well, I think he should pass too. Yeah. Yep. So, the run wasn't that cheap for us. No. Neither our Berengar and Leo, but at the same time, and Keldar, which is which is pretty painful. But he committed Philippa, Saul, Dolgo, like actually a lot. Right. Okay. Anyway. All right. Uh. So we drop Vest. Yeah. I, no, no, no. I, th I think oh. we're actually going to... Oh shit. All right. <laughs> uh, just moving on one more side. Moving on one more side, man. There was. Oh, we got a bag, anyways. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. So, I think we want to go for a self bleed because it's our first amphibious assault, right? Okay. Uh. Yeah, we can we can play AA or we can play Quen. Mm, I think we'd rather play Quen first because it doesn't give him a poison. So just Quen and get uh, get the the, the Erlan. Try to get some more of that sweet carryover for later. This won't be witchers, not marauders. And then we'll see how he responds because if we, if we get Passy out right here, then we're just we're just really really happy. And if we don't get Passy here, 
and we might consider going for a 2 0. He didn't get his boat out either. He might have bricked his boat. Oh, true. Okay, we got passing. So Seriously. this is this is a perfect pass, right? Because we're we're tied with him right now. So yeah. we're out. See you. Just that's a really really easy pass. We developed our carryover. We got his best best card out of him. Should be an easy game from now on. And th that's the beauty of of the Witcher deck because you can you can go for a really really soft bleed. But this soft bleed can really quickly turn into a full-blown 2 with with just the Witcher's Leader, Amphibious Assault, 20-point Scythemen, or at least 12, 15-point Scythemen. Yeah, if you try to slow roll this deck, unless you're sitting on like a, you know, a Yurden that might, you know, catch up quick, you know, you can get in big trouble. Yeah, exactly. And the additional beauty of the Witcher's deck is is that you can you can really push round one. Like we, we didn't have an ideal hand, he committed a lot. Played a lot of good engine this, what? right? Well I don't have to marry that's a new card. Oh, there's his bow. Yep. So if he gets the boat out, fine for him, but he loses his passy. And we still have a lot of juice in our deck. We're looking for Vesemir, obviously. Mentor is good. Uh, Vesemir is really good too. We kick one of the Witchers. Mm, and I think it's gonna be a keep. Great Griffin, Griffin Mentor is good. Yeah, we don't really have anything better. So we're good. Yeah, we're good. Griffin, Griffin, Griffin. It's a seven with Vesemir. Uh, it always gets us the the plus two point boost, right? And nothing super big. I mean, we're gonna we have last say, so the two scythemen aren't gonna get poisoned or anything. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the the assault's gonna be his poison target. And really, yeah, I mean, it's only. Oh, so he's a. Uh... Yeah, so he he might he might play like oh, Luisa Scola, which is cute, obviously. That's... Point. So we still but, just drop our boy though, right? Uh, yeah, we can, or we can start with with Vesemir. It depends on you, honestly. Yeah, let's get our boy out. Sure. For honor. And for honor. Like playing Vesemir first. Uh, so what if he has? It, well, that doesn't really mm -hmm. do anything. Um, he still has. Um, oh, what's his name? Tin Boy? The card. Tin Boy might be a slight concern. The card of damages all the units. Yeah, yeah, no, the other one I was thinking of uh, with uh, Trafficker, huh? Yeah, yeah, so here's the poison. Yeah, so Adriano, he has Adriano still. Oh, sure, yeah. Uh, we just damage, damage Luisa. And now, now we assault or do we wait? Nah, no, no, we just play Vesemir. Like, there's no reason not to. We're gonna want to assault for... Uh, oh, okay, unless you want to kill Luisa, because didn't use... Okay, yeah, yeah, I... Okay, that's a good play. Yeah, I like it. So we can go assault. Grab Natalis and just kill it, huh? Yep. Yep. That's it, that's a very good, very good point. And... I did kind of miss it. And <laughs> concede. Right. <laughs> Here it comes. Yeah! That's that's quite probable. I mean, if he doesn't see, we should be able to. Well, yeah, because he just lost all his coins if he passed Savalo. True. Okay, so here's here's the second trafficker. So now we just play best in here. Yep. Staying low to the ground. Exactly. No downside to that. Mm -hmm. still Next, we can play Mantor. Or for the carryover. Right. I mean carry over for the for the additional boost. It's not carry over at this point. Uh, you know, it only top decks a unit, so What? So yes, Oh Indoran. Oh okay, I know the deck. So he's gonna play Savola, and then he's gonna play uh what is Becker's Dark Mirror. Which is cute. So we're still going Manor though, right? Yeah, sure. To hit the mark, we aim above the mark. 
Ah, uh, this is not ideal. So what's more points? Is the Ranger more points or is it Cyclone? Probably I'm Cyclone. pretty sure it's... Yeah, exactly. So we put this back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what else did, can he spawn here? Yeah, he, he's gonna spawn spawn the uh, the Savala's right, right? Yeah. Uh, Besides that, or... though, like, is there any other shenanigans we got? Oh, the the either one creates a one point copy, then then he can bring it to twenty. Oh, you know, okay. One. I see. Yeah, with with backers. Yeah, we just jump the Witchers now. Reason two. So that and plays for what? Twenty point. And we shouldn't be bothered by that because we have what? Is that, yeah, we have what's twenty twenty five on our end. That's that's cute, man. I've never seen that one. Holy yeah, I, I think I've seen try to play that list. So. so we play this one and then the other one. This yep. It's a 9, Black the other one is a 10, so we 22, so we only win by 2 points. <laughs> uh, which is interesting, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> that's scary, man. That's, that's kind of scary. Alright, we'll try We'll try one more. Ooh, it's a commando friend. Okay, that's interesting. And we're on the bad coin. Mm, so the funny thing with this deck is that the bad coin is actually kind of a good coin. Uh, we always mulligan the Witcher trio pretty aggressively. We want them for round three. Drop a target uh, practice or do we keep it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we can get rid of one of the target practice. Uh, and maybe another target practice. Since we don't have the other guy. But we could pull it with yeah, assault, yeah, right? Uh, I guess so, yeah, but we still have Keldor. It's... And we, we would public man. So we always just lead uh, off with the Witcher and TA it? Yep. Like, there's there's nothing to wait for. And they don't really have a way to answer it. Uh, we'll see. Easily, I Maybe mean... Maybe he's they... gonna jump still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, he might over. So... Yeah, Ansace is pretty... Well, Ansace doesn't kill it, huh? Uh, it boosts uh, by one. Yeah, He'd yeah. have to use two charges, right? No, 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 no just he just one. plays his back row. He just plays his back row and then boosts. Because it gives it zeal. Ah. Uh, if, if, if he even runs Ansace, right? True. Right. Now? Ask questions later. So he's always going to get <laughs> his uh, roach if we play this, right? Yeah. So we don't want uh, to do I think we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Keldor has adrenaline. So we want to wait on it. Uh, I think it's just location. Location for an adept. And then just ping it, Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And what are we grabbing up? The shielded guy, right? Yes, this is. Different row? Uh, Yeah. I mean, it shouldn't matter that much, but basically, wherever you want. I know, I'm on it. I'll watch him be a siege friend. <laughs> okay, I mean, <laughs> if he's a siege friend, then, then the matchup becomes slightly worse for us. What? Sure. Margarita? Margarita. That's a cheat, sir. Okay, that's, that's a card I haven't seen in a long time. And he uses the ping. Uh huh. That's interesting. So, uh, Do we... we might go for. Ah, we might want to bleed him honestly. Like he's not. He's he's playing some weird shit. <laughs> oh, the Wasubi rule, right? Bleed, <laughs> bleed the shenanigans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, uh, like that's the, that's the correct. So we we would probably want to observe the run two if we. Uh, so we go assault? I guess we can just... No, no, no. I, I think we, we would try to keep the assault. Just play the Berengar now. Berengar front. Die by the sword, die by the sword. <laughs> These cards are so good. This Griffin Witcher. Uh -huh. Especially on blue coin. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a great payoff. He just turns into like the poor man's herald. <laughs> he just starts pinging shit everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like four points a turn if he, if he survives still adrenaline. Oh my god, oh. he actually had it. I knew I okay. should have played around it. <laughs> so we assault uh, that or boil it? I think we're boiling all this. There's. Ah, uh, okay. Wait, wait. No, no, wait. We can go for the. What's it called? The the the, the tutor, the adrenaline. Mutation card. This card. Third from the left. Yeah, yeah. Selective mutation. <laughs> what are, what are we looking for? Uh, we're running the Erlen version, right? Uh, sure, yeah, I think yeah. it's just Erlen. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So it's just Erlen. Front row. Huh? Uh, would... And what do we put uh, back? I think it's a Scytheman for now. Scythe Griffin, Griffin Winter Metro is a good part Yep. It's not bad. So now he, he runs his, his Roach now though, right? Yeah, yeah, we enable Roach. Okay, so here goes an arrow. And that gives some... 12? 14? Yeah, it depends on if he uses the leader, right? 15. To the enemy. Yeah, so here goes the first leader charge. Okay. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, I think we just play Erland here. Like, I know we're giving him a pass. This, uh, this deck don't really care, though, I've noticed. I've watched... I, I watched Spiro play it a couple times in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he like... wants to copy... Yeah, he wants to copy his, uh, his blue stripes. So he wants to play further. Then we'll probably have to commit Calder. Mm, just to stay in the round. Which is not ideal, but it is what it is. Idalia, so he's going for the, for the blue stripes. Blue stripe on Idalia. That's So he's got one more in hand. That plays for a lot, right? That's seven. Yeah. Uh so there is a consideration to ask here, honestly, because we're we're already a lot a lot of that uh a lot of down, we might not get the card back, and by playing, we just allow him to copy more of the outs. So we just jump out uneven. He plays yeah. Pavetta. Yeah, we can always defend the bleed, uh, although it's it's starting to look pretty bad. The good thing is we secured some of the carryover with Erland. Wait, it's nice. Okay, so so he just said, yeah, I guess. So he just says basically that going for a well, he has a Nero. Yeah, he has a Nero. So yeah, so he's just gonna he's just gonna pass now, drive us ass. So uh, he has Pavetta in hand. I think so, he loses, man. I don't think he's gonna have enough points. It depends. It really depends. If he's if he's a siege deck, we probably send no chance in the long run, honestly. <laughs> Uh, we'll see though. Uh, well, we gotta wait the target practice for now. And the witch. Yeah. Room. Yeah, yeah, we can hard mulligan them. We still have Quen. I like it. Oh, that's slightly awkward. Okay, so first we click the location, always. Just not to forget. <laughs> so, what do we boost uh, then? I think we're either boosting one of the Witchers or Vesemir. So uh, either either the Silver Witchers or, or Vesemir. Probably. I the... think it's the Witchers. Yeah, because we're, we're in case we don't draw it. And then we just yeah, yeah. go with Menor. Oh, that's yeah. four. No, yeah, yeah, but but he still just plays for five points. Not not really anything Up the better. Up you go, play. lad! Quick now! Retrieve my bolt. Yeah. Uh, honestly, we can put the oil back. 
J just put one of the oils back. The past. Oh, I think we might have gotten cheese siege deck, but Trebuchet might might suggest that he's. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, Leo is very good. Uh, okay, so what are we missing? Just Vesemir and one of the adepts. But we can pull that yeah. with assault. Yeah. So uh, uh, our assault target is adept. Uh, our Quen target is Vesemir. I think it's a keep. And we just lead off with our boy, huh? Mr. Yeah, yeah, with, with the Griffin Witcher. We might consider boosting him up once, play around the boiling oil. We'll see, though. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, we, we, can, we can use one charge. The wonders of projectiles and range. Let's see how he'll react. Is he gonna play self curve? Probably. He's gotta be careful with his charges though. Yeah. Okay, so just just a wholesome rather. No audiences. Front, Front row. row. Why? Okay, so he's just I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Do we still oil uh, it, huh? Or do we... Do we get the Keldar we... online? No, 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 no. We, oh, we, that's we right, it doesn't go till 4. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Uh, oh, shit, is I... Natalis dead? No, we got... No, 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 no. We, have, we have quite a lot of highest targets. So we either go Assault into Adept, I think, or we oil that. I guess ass Assault is better, because we don't lose the... Just a wholesome thought. What was going on about this mark, fella? Yeah, basically we'll, we'll probably try to stack all our shields in the back. Yeah, that would work. Because of the... Siege if he does play it. Mm-hmm, yeah. That's an interesting deck he's playing for sure. I kind of didn't expect it. <laughs> no. I don't think anyone expects the reinforced trebuchet bronze yeah. package from the commandos. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. So we play Natalis and start getting procs? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yes. Like, there's, there's not really anything better to play on. To speak at last. What do I boost? Yeah, and we, yeah, yeah, we boost and then we boost Natalis. No, 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 boost Natalis for the for the extra boost value. And we still flip, Hot. right? Yep. Is easy Getting down's another matter. We try to deny the human bodies in case he's drowned. So, I guess we finger oil guards. Yeah, this, seem, this just seems like a wasted boost, though. Like, yeah, maybe he was scared of of this dying. Like, there's there's not really a way for us to kill it. If it's... Well, right. He's probably somewhat a somewhat new player. Uh... Another one. Or just a wholesome. So now okay, we now, oil now that. Playing... Huh? Yeah, I I assume so. so. We still have to have to wait for the adrenaline to. End. We just oiled that, kill the other royal guard in front row. And we're just chilling so far. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't look too bad. I mean, he's got what? Uh, he, he made four copies? Five. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, he's sitting on 16, right? Or... Uh, yeah, because he played he played the double, double scout and the roach. Oh. oh, so here comes the Vernon. Or the... Uh -oh. What's his the, name? The, oh, no, the, he the played him front side. row. Yeah. He's... He's... Probably... He's either experimenting with the deck and he doesn't have a grasp of it. Yep. Or he just... I don't know what he's doing. So... Uh, we're at Adrenaline 5 right now. Yep. So, we can consider going for Vesemir now with Quen. Or, 
uh, we're just gonna say that we're gonna give up some value on the the Keldar. on the Griffin. Oh yeah, or we could go Keldar. Bait. Yeah, we can go Keldar preemptively and boost him once. Yeah, I like it. Go on. Season yourself in garlic. See what that gets you. Boost him once. Play on oil. And hang away. Yeah, it's slightly bad against Selkirk. Uh, although... He wants to kill the engine, though. I mean, I guess it's a bigger engine, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Like, this way, this way we're not losing a point of Ranger, right? What? Okay, yeah, yeah, it, uh, it's just a person. Currently. So this procs next turn, right? Oh, yeah. What? Oh, and he's boosting it. Sure. He's just playing around that third boiling oil. <laughs> so we're pinging that no matter what. Um, we're at four, do we... Yeah, yeah, I think we just play Witcher's front row. Out of order? No, they're in order. Okay. Yeah, yeah. we, we just we let it just... go, right? We know there's nothing we can do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't train All right. Home. I hate it. And then we start transforming the next turn. Yeah, this guy is, is in trouble. Oh, Ildiko. That's that's wholesome. That's a card I haven't seen for a while. It suffice to end the old form. Yeah. So he's catching up now. He's got a two-point engine. Yep. Uh, I can see us playing Leo. It's either Leo or or a Ren, because we want to stall with Gwen for Vesa so that he boosts all the all the transform tokens. And at this point, like we're we're losing some value on every card, basically. Uh, so it's probably the best. So we just ping her. Um, uh, ping it, ping Ildiko, I think. Ah, it shouldn't matter. And go, we're but going Leo. Ildico. Yeah, yeah, I think we're going Leo because yeah. we're losing card. We're lo the front, front, front. Let's just jam everything. One more time. Now, try throwing three. Uh, All right, sixty-four. Yeah. We got the big we're ping. ping yeah. This uh, so I've been I've been thinking about pinging Ildiko because okay, yeah. So. Oh, now he now he's over Speldar. That is interesting. Uh, yeah. So now we go for Quen to invest here. Can I come down now? Still no front reason. row. One, two, three. No, no, no. We we can start three, playing back row now. Because the the concern the, the only concern was that uh, we don't want to over over swarm the row Elder. We have space for the token. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's just an existence. So apparently he's not playing, uh, he's not playing Siege, it's just... Or he didn't draw, well he still hasn't used his Nero, which he's saving for his, his boys. Yeah, for sure. yeah, exactly. And he's given us this value now, which is, so he is Draug. Mm, probably, yeah. Death to the enemy! Uh, that was cute. So... Why? Uh... I, I I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just not. So we're just I'm going ranger back row, sure. right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. There's no downside. Nothing to flip. Yep. All right. Everything so good. he's down. Forty. Yeah. Just just a wholesome game of uninterrupted witchers. He's so this is that, the true power of the deck. He's got oh, that God. round three scout. Yeah, I mean it's it's still eight points, but it's it's an eight point for for provisions. We're just gonna jump. What? Seventeen? Sixteen? Yeah, it's gonna be pretty rough. I don't even think. Yeah, yeah. I don't even think Ur Yurden saves him. Yeah, I think it doesn't. <laughs> I honestly think it doesn't save him. <laughs> All right, what do you got, sir? No charges left. No. Yep. 
Well, he's thinking. <laughs> he said, well. <laughs> swarm Witchers <laughs> greater than Swarm Commandos, unfortunately, in 2021. Yeah. Yeah, the Temerian package is actually growing pretty soft these days. Yeah, I mean, if you're, like, in the starting ranks, it's a it's a nice set to build on. You can... Yep, there's the Yurd. Oh, this... All right, this is enough. Let's get this over with. Well, I don't think it is. <laughs> 30 short. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. Right. Poor guy. Mr. Rilacco, thank you, sir, for recording. I uh, appreciate you, man. Episode 81 of Ladder Leverage. Um, thank you very much for inviting me. Yeah. It was a pleasure. Good, good luck here in the the next season hopefully it won't be as long as this one <laughs> i think it might be slightly too short for yeah it's gonna be like speed ladder for the competitive players this month i think or well, the coming months so yeah um, yeah yeah we'll i've have... already heard some jokes that we, <laughs> we love the blitz gwen so much that, that we actually we're actually getting competitive blitz gwen <laughs> speed gwen ladder there we go um hey. Yeah, but thank you so much for recording, sir. I appreciate you. Um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out teamofithingaming.com. Uh, there'll be some good stuff up there uh, probably once the season starts. And um, I'll probably I – don't, I don't know if the season starts Monday or Tuesday. Um, either way, I got, the, I got the seasonal list all cooked up. So get ready for that. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you, too. Bye.